Hello everyone and welcome to the in-depth features and analysis video for 30 days with ASUS Routers campaign and previously we had looked at the ASUS RT N14U, the ASUS DSL N55U and the ASUS RT N12HP and we had done an unboxing video and an article about it along with the in-depth features and analysis video as well. So today we will be looking at uh, the specifications or the actual administrative panel features of the router so let's get started with it so as you've seen that we previously set up our asus rt n14u router so after setting it up completely and powering it on you can use its administ administrative panel features and use the admin panel in many ways so for example the RT N14U has this as its main administrative panel and it has a couple of features mentioned as in the list so there are general features as well as, as well as advanced settings so let's start with network map so basically this is the home page of the admin panel and currently it's showing you the status of your connection along with some other system status addresses and LAN IPs and pin codes and LAN MAC addresses and whatnot along with that it also shows you the clients attached and extra USB devices if you would attach any so if you were to attach a USB device it would be shown here then there is an option for guest network so you can create a guest network as, as well in this router so you can enable or disable some functions for each of the guests then there is a traffic manager feature with quality of service option so uh, it shows you the uh, user specify a rule list with different service names and destination ports and protocols and whatnot along with that it also has a traffic monitor feature that allows you to monitor the reception and transmission of your internet activity then there is the parental control feature in RT N1 for you so ASUS has made sure that it has good parental control features and uh, it allows you to set time limit for a client's network usage to use a parental control uh, it also has a client's name column so you can add a particular client in the clients list and add features for parental control on that client and or you, or you can delete that client as well from here and apply the changes as you want then there is the USB application feature so basically this is for your USB connected devices and when you connect a USB device you can access it using so many different features such as the first one is the AI disk so it allows you to share files in the USB disk through the internet that's a nice feature then there is a server center the network printer server so network printer server is one of the, the primary features of this device as it allows you to you know have asus easy printing printer sharing and lpr to share printer so this router directly shares a lot of printers that are available in the market so you don't have to you know necessarily have a different computer setup for that along with that it also has 3g and 4g settings with the download master utility that allows you to directly download files of the internet to the router through a connected usb device and a media server feature as well then there is the asus ai cloud which we'll look at later in our next article uh, let's move on to the advanced settings so the advanced settings has most of the features which you will need in the router for example the general wireless settings and of course the wireless uh, wi-fi protected setup settings which is a must for uh, these days as it enables a proper security handle for your router along with the bridge setting uh, the wireless mac filter and radius settings and professional settings so each of these settings have individual options to set up your router accordingly then there are a host of other setting options such as the LAN settings which has LAN IP, DHCP server, root and IPTV along with that the WAN settings which contains the internet connection, the port trigger functionality, virtual server, port forwarding, DMZ that is the demilitarized zone, DDNS, NAT pass through and whatnot. and then of course they also added the IPv6 functionality which has your basic connection type and auto configuration settings with the VPN server functionality as well and uh, firewall so they have made sure that they have added a good firewall for this router with general settings and URL filter, keyword filter and network ser services filter options and network services filter is a quite a big setting type as, it, as you can see that it has a lot of features mentioned then there is the administration settings which contains the main administration features for your router with system and firmware upgrade options as well so you can upgrade the firmware of your router from here then there is the resource save upload setting 
now we come to the system log and this keeps a track of all the system activity for your router or the connections connected to the router so this is very important for a network administrator mm, it also has a DHCP leases wireless log port forwarding as well and routing table of course so moving on it also has the network tools which has individual tools for network monitoring and analysis with ping methods and target times and counts and diagnosis with net stat and also a wake on LAN feature so as you can see that this is a pretty extensive list of features for the RT N1 for you and uh, so let's move on to the other router from ASUS for the same so moving on to the ASUS RT N1 HP which is a high powered access point range extender and client as well so it also has the same admin panel as seen previously in the rtn 14 u and as you can see after setting this up you just have to enter your username and id or the password and enter the admin panel and you will see the network map features which state the internet status and the WAN IP and other su such features such as the security level and the number of clients attached to the router then if you go to the guest network features you will see that it also has options for adding guests and individual settings for each guest so you can enable or disable a particular setting for any of the guests then there is the traffic manager feature which has the quality of service or QoS service with that ensures uh, proper network speed performance between all the users and uh, there is an option to turn it on or off and save the settings in this menu along with the traffic monitor feature which is very useful for administrators as it contains the reception and transmission uh, uh, monitor status for the number of clients attached and uh, along with the speeds and average and maximum or total speed of the clients then they also have the parental control feature so this parental control feature uh, allows you to add particular clients to the list of parental control and uh, assign individual parental control options to each of these clients add or delete clients among these menus then you also have the advanced settings page which contains you the usual wireless features such as the general wireless features as SSID wireless mode and control channel then we also have the WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup features that allow you to enable or disable WPS with the connection status configuration modes and AP pin code then there is also a wireless MAC filter which allows you to con uh, configure your wireless MAC filter then there is the radius settings so this uh, this being a range extender it has proper range or radius settings uh, and uh, it allows you to set up additional parameters for authorizing wireless clients to your radius server so you can enter your server IP address and port here then there is a professional settings menu which contains most of the enable or disable radio time of the enable or disable radio RTS threshold and more complicated features of the router then moving on to the LAN features it has the usual LAN I IP features then the DHCP server settings so you can set up your DHC DHCP or dynamic host con configuration protocol server over here by using these settings on this page uh, then it also has the LAN root functionality so this function allows you to add routing rules to the RT N12 HP and uh, you can enable basic configuration or static root lists through this feature then you also have the IPTV functionality so in this you can add or select ports for your individual IP and depending on your ISP then you have the WAN features which are the usual pair with the addition of port trigger virtual server port forwarding and DMZ or demilitarized zones with DDNS functionality and NAT pass-through as well so you can enable or disable NAT pass-through through this list then they've also added the IPv6 functionality of course so in this you can see the configuration for your IPv6 functionality and uh, it has basic config and auto configuration settings on this then there is a VPN server settings page which allows you to set up your VPN server along with the VPN details page it also has the firewall settings page with the URL filter uh, they have also added the keyword filter and network services filter on this page so firewall is pretty much uh, properly devised on this router and they've added a lot of settings for each of the settings page uh, then you have the administration features 
which are a must for your administrator uh, which contain the operation mode the system settings it also has the firmware upgrade options so you can upgrade the firmware of your router from this space and restore save or upload settings from this space then the finally it also has the system log features so as an administrator you need to monitor your connections for your clients and the transmissions so you can monitor them through the system log and save or refresh or clear them through this page DHCP leases wireless logs and port forwarding along with the routing table all have been taken care of in the system log feature so as you can see Asus has done a very good job with the administrative panel and uh, you will find it very easy to navigate through the menu so stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching